<sighs> oh my god y'all the news is so severe it's not even it's like a molehill we're just yeah. like literally trying to bury to get down to it <laughs> Fun. Yes, y'all. It's Mary. And um, you guys just like, subscribe, share, and comment down below, you guys, because mm. guess what? White lives matter. Oh, Lord. You know, the they sure is, do. Black Lives Matter started <laughs> because of the whole, um, I think it was Trayvon Martin, okay? Everyone knows that, um, you know, so much, so much stuff happens, especially with black men when they are you know stopped by a police or stuff like that also we know that um the same has also happened to black women there are black women who have been arrested and died in custody and have been raped by yeah. multiple police, you police know, officers there have been black women we saw with the brianna case you know just come into someone's home and just shoot the woman so in terms of cops and all this stuff and i think this whole thing started even with calling kaepernick kneeling to say you know something we have to call attention to this black lives matter it comes from a a, a place of like severe mourning for lives that were lost you know um just lost, you know? I mean, you had that guy where they went and hunted him, Arm Armard. Is Aubrey. That, yeah. I mean, stuff like that. And I actually saw that video. Like, it was just hein heinous. So, that's where it comes from. It's not saying that other lives don't matter, but because of what is going on, you know, People are just screaming out. Just if you love humanity, you don't want to ever see a group of people, you know, being like maliciously attacked, unfairly attacked. Okay? So that's where Black Lives Matter came from. That even though we are really black people in America, we're truly the minority. You know? We are the minority, even in numbers. Okay? Is it now 13%? We're less than the Asians. Yeah. Before before Asians had less people than us. Now we have the less you know? But I less demographic. So it's like that's where it came from. So when you Kanye and you are a black man and it started because of the killing of a black boy, okay, you like to call your children black, which they are not, they are by racial. Like let us not discount that their mother is Armenian, Caucasian, German, Armenian, Caucasian. German. Like let's not discount her. They're not black. And I, you know, I would be offended if someone came and I'm not, I, I'm not just black. I have other parts. I, I will, I will, especially if it's my mother. No, but you don't get to do that. You don't get to just um, say I am this when I have other parts of me in me. No. So anyway, and also my thing is with that whole thing. It's not like you are being an upstanding well, citizen uh, no, of society. No, no. So when you say that your children are black, but yeah. you go out there and you act like this on a daily basis. It's ridiculous. You make me not want to even claim that side. If, but, uh, we're, if I'm being honest. Oh yeah, you mean for his children, yeah. right? You know what I'm like saying? Like you're so badly behaved. You're just out of pocket. So you go, you act but also like I you're- I want to make this one statement. Okay, go ahead. Um, also the White Lives Matter thing. Also I felt like it was kind of wrong for him to have it also because the thing is the whole white lives matter thing came about when a lot of black people were talking about black lives matter right and then there was some people uh -huh. who some caucasian people who came out and were basically like white lives matter or whatever which yeah. basically where they were trying to negate the fact that trying to basically try to say that black lives don't matter like yeah. white lives matter or whatever and, and so the, also it was kind of like not i don't know how do you say it, like sarcasm not sarcasm but like but you know where you know what it is. This it was is kind of like is. a slap in the face because yeah. we're telling you that this is going on, and you're yeah. like f that. 
this is what really about. matters. But you know I what think I'm saying? What it is, what it is, is this. It's it's ignorance. So when someone comes out and says white lives matter, it's ignorance about what black lives matter means. Okay. Well, also some so, people know what it means and they actually did not give a damn. Yeah, and some people may not know what it is. And so that's where you take your time and you explain. And Kanye, since you have that platform, that's where you can actually take that platform and actually talk about Black Lives Matter. I remember the time when you went to that George Bush did not care about black people because of the whole Katrina thing, right? Well, Black Lives Matter. Like... They left all those people there, right? I, I, I don't know the logic. I, I did not even see Katrina until it was like two weeks had passed. Because there are times in my life where I just turn off the television because I was homeschooling for most of the time. So I just turned off the television completely. So I did not know. But I remember when I turned on the TV, Carney was saying, George Bush doesn't care about black people. But what I'm saying, Kanye, you are a black man. Black Lives Matter started because of a black boy that was killed. So you have the platform. Why don't you use your platform to actually explain to you know Caucasians that this is what Black Lives Matter means. We're not saying other lives don't matter, but we're just letting you know that this is what's going on in our community. And we have to come together to nix this issue where Cops are killing at a disproportionate amount black, you know, black people. And I just want to say something real quick. Well, let, um, me, let me finish this. Yeah, thought. I'll let you finish your point. But he did not do that. Instead, he wore the slogan that comes from ignorance. Ignorance. They don't know. They don't understand when we say Black Lives Matter what that really means. So instead of you using your platform, you just become ignorant. And I can see a Caucasian with white lives matters. Okay, I can look at that person. Well, that person is ignorant. That person needs to be taught. That person needs to be um, uh, um, given some history lessons. That person needs to be shown some data. That person needs to be shown maybe a, a Mad Aubrey's tape. Okay? But you don't go and be ignorant with them. You, you understand? It is like, let me try to see. It is like you getting up, what the cops are doing. You go and say, after they killed a black man, you go and stand by the Caucasian cop. And you also take your gun and be like, I'm with you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's, that's what you're doing. You're being ignorant. And you're wearing it. You're donning it in pride. You're being a clown, like Shana Sharp will say. And then the other idiot was with him. Where Candy, the one who called him a prostitute. <laughs> like two black dum dums wearing a slogan of ignorance. And you guys have a platform to actually teach. But you don't use it for that. You use it for your buffoonery. You know, I just, I'm gonna. <laughs> this is what I have to say. Um, in terms of Kanye wearing the White Lives Matter shirts, mm -hmm. I honestly get, I mean, I feel like I get really tired of mm -hmm. the antics. Like, it's so exhausting talking yeah. about him. I and I honestly don't really even is. want to give him life. I know. And this is what I am going to have to say. Mm -hmm. You know how you said that um, George Bush don't care about black people? I don't believe you care about black people, Kanye. Hello. Hello. You I don't, don't think he gives I don't, a damn no, he don't care. about black people. Even when and this is, is why, children. this is why I feel care. this way. Mm -hmm. Because, and oh. you know, you guys can say no, this is not what he is. You guys call him a genius. I see a degenerate. Yeah. Um. I feel like Kanye used the black community. Yes. In order to get ahead, yes. to get well known, to yes. get really popular. Yes. We all loved his music. It was all pro black. This yes. da 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 yes. da. Yes. As soon as he made it Snipped. or whatever, as soon as he sniffed his riches and all this stuff, yes. you know, he went to cussed out sway. 
for him telling him, oh, you need to be your own business. No, he wanted to go behind the white man to go and get his come up. Now he sees that they are trying to steal his business. You don't know nothing. And all this stuff. And now you know that he has the answers. And then my thing is also, when you choose to be, you choose that you want to be black when white people come for you. And you choose to be black Mm -hmm. when you have issues with your white baby mother, who you were obsessed with. Yes, you still obsessed with. And are still currently obsessed with. Mm -hmm. And when you saw that all that was going downhill, you then wanted to call people to come and fight your battles. Probably I'm not going to women. ever sit here yeah. and fight a black man's battle yeah. when he has made it very clear he and does not like care black about black women no. and he does not value black life. You I know what I'm saying? He, so he values black men. Look at how he talked to Sway in, in his he radio does not. show. I and you cannot no expect anything no. from somebody who has such a deep self-hatred of themselves and where they come from. Yeah. I think so I'm just father. like, you know, whatever it yeah. is. I mean, he I says his father, father was an ex-Black Panther. No, but, I don't know how true that is but or not. You know something? But this is I what feel he said about his father. He said that the father, for the first time in his 45 years, yeah, he was the proud first of time him. The father has said to his Black son, I am proud of you. For ignorance, that don't make no sense. That means the father is a degenerate. Yeah, exactly. And he said the father's educated. Really? No, well, also, I remember how he got on his mother, who was dead at the time, and said that it was because of her that he did not have close, had did not have a close relationship with his daddy, who probably wasn't there to begin with. Okay, well, so, well, well, the, that's, fa- well, so the father thing. has never told you he's proud of you. This is the first time. So he has, he has black father issues. He is a he man has. who does not love himself. No. So you cannot expect much from yeah. But yeah. So I feel like he has problems with his black father. That's what I think. Because Kanye doesn't he doesn't have respect for authority. He doesn't have and respect so for himself. And so that's why I feel like and even when Swayze was trying to give him advice, if another black man is trying to give him advice Kanye doesn't know how to take that because, and he, he rejects it right away because he has problems with his black father that stem probably all the way through to his childhood. The fact that his father has never said to him, I'm proud of you, except when he became 45, I am shocked. It's like it blows my mind. So now I'm looking at him from a psychological perspective Point of view like this guy probably has some trauma some ch- childhood trauma that he's still dealing with but like he couldn't even take instruction from Swayze he can't take instructions from a, even remember with Jay-Z he and Jay-Z had a fallen out and Jay-Z is older than him mm-hmm. he can't take instructions from black men who are older than him whether they try to give him advice or not he prefers to take it from a white man. Because remember he said that Trump was like a father to him. Which blew my mind. I said, how long has this man been doing Trump? Even Trump's children look at him like, Daddy, when did we have a new brother? Like, damn. And then he was on Tucker Carlson talking nonsense. I mean, even Tucker Carlson, his whole mouth was open, his whole face all squinched. Which usually that's how he looks, but this time his mouth was open. Usually he doesn't leave his mouth open like that. I mean, I just, I think this is what it is. He doesn't have respect for authority. He hasn't learned that because his father hasn't been in life. And caught the bull crap about your mom did not let your father be in life, blah, 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 blah. Maybe okay? he didn't want to be there. Did you your, ever think about that? Father, Maybe that was his choice. These are my children. I wish, as a mother, your daddy will come even if he had full custody i wish that he will come and try and keep me away from my kids i will not allow it i will go see him i'll go to the courts i will do whatever the hell i will have that written down yeah so when i got to come and show the kids the receipt but you know the other thing i'll do if i can't see them i will continue to write these letters mail it to the children let them know i'm proud of them let them know i'm there you know what i'm saying your father didn't do that (laughs) <laughs> he didn't because this is the first time he has told you he's proud of you if he was even writing those letters when he couldn't have access to you 
he would have signed, I am proud of you, son. Always remember that. That blew my mind. And then right there I said, let me not talk too much about Connie anymore. This man, he got black, daddy issues. Black daddy, daddy issues. issues. That's what he got. Yeah. He doesn't have any respect for authority if it comes from a black man. Or a black Full person. Stop, period. Black and person. He certainly doesn't seem to like black women. No. That's for sure. My thing is also I feel like Kanye is somebody he loves white validation. He yeah. loves to be validated by white people yeah. for whatever reason he that is. He doesn't feel validated by his parents. His parents were academics. They wanted him also and then he, oh, yeah, he, he dropped he, out of school. He had that whole he dropped out of college, college dropout right? And, and so maybe he has always felt for all you know the parents are not even doing that to him. Maybe in his own perception he's feeling that they're not proud of him. So he's going. This this is a hurt person. I think there's a lot of hurt it's a that lot of comes trauma from his guy. parents, maybe or whatever. Maybe the mom hurt. actually tried her very best. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Yeah. I honestly believe mom. Maybe the mother. She really tried her very best. But also, I feel like she probably had a really strained relationship with yeah. Kanye. Yeah. Because even when um. You okay? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to uh, take both keys. The gate key and the back. Yeah. Okay. But I feel like um he also had a very strange relationship with his mom because yeah. when she went to go get her um breast done, oh yeah, the, he didn't even know. He did not know. And yeah. she had died on the table. Yeah. So the fact that she would even tell her son that yeah. obviously they were not in a the good place in their relationship. Yeah. So this is a man he who has issues. Her. He probably blamed her for the father not being in the life. Or whatever. And a lot of times single mothers have to go through that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and they don't want to bad mouth the father because they know that the father is part of the child. So if you bad mouth the father, the ch child is gonna be feeling sensitive to that because they're part of the pa two parents, right? Except the father, the child has to grow up and see for himself. And Kanye, you have to see. You know, the man did not tell him he's proud of him. I don't know if his mother ever told him she was proud of him. My issue you know? is, I feel but, like at the end of the day, a single mother can do everything in her yeah. power to raise a good black man. And yeah. he can come out to be just a degenerate and an yeah. a-hole, as far as I'm concerned. I feel yeah. like it's something that goes on up here. And I, I don't yeah. know what goes yeah. on there. I don't mm -hmm. care to dive into it, and I don't care to mammy it. I but I feel... Ooh. Well, you see, this is why I was... I You know what I'm saying? Because, and I, you know, I told my son about David Goggins. At some point, like he said in his book, you gotta look yourself in the mirror and realize that ain't nobody coming to save you. Anyone who hurt you in the past, Kanye, they are not coming to save you. You are divorced from Kim. Whatever daddy issues you have, mommy issues you have, sibling Bye. issues you have, Kanye, ain't nobody coming to save you. Your ass is in your damn 40s. Very soon you'll be in your 50s. You are the one who got to save yourself. But this rubbish that you're doing, you are going to, you're going to, what's the word? Um, when your children will turn you, your children will turn their back on you. They really will. As they get older and you continue in this rubbish, they will turn their back on you and they will really not even want to claim you as their parent. And the black part of them, they're not going to want to claim that because you're showing a terrible, ignorant example of black people. You yeah. really are. You really are. And like at this point, Kanye is a damn embarrassment. Well, he is. He's, He's been just an embarrassment. An embarrassment. Yeah. And I feel like he feels like probably he's been an embarrassment to his parents. And he's like, well, I just don't care. I'll be an embarrassment like how I used to be as a child. Maybe that's what it is. My thing but is, go we to all therapy, know. God damn it. My Everybody got problems. Your ass is not the only one who has problems, Kanye. Seek therapy. Help yourself. I feel like, you know, there's just no way <laughs> that, um, much, man. we all know he has issues, but this is just our analysis of what's really this going on. I feel like anything that comes from his race of people, he automatically shuts he it down. He does he not does. care. But yeah. when he is in a pickle with the white people, he wants to come to them and be like, okay, this is what's going on. My black children, this, my black children, this, where were you when this was going on? The fashion industry wants to have Kim's ASS out. All this stuff. Kanye 
and she's a Christian? Well, okay. she has been a Christian all this time. Oh. She was a Christian when you had her butt naked mm -hmm. with a champagne glass on her rear end and her breast out. Mm -hmm. She was a Christian where she had her breast on your back on a motorcycle. She, she has always a been a Christian. When you, she had to put her legs around you and you all had to simulate uh, sex, sexual intercourse or something. She All has always been Christian. She was a Christian when you tried to make her this sex symbol. Exactly. So when you decide to say, sit down and there the, and blame the fashion industry who's coming for you, for I coming know. for their fashion editor at large, Gabriella, we don't want to hear shit you got to say. Right. And we but if y'all want to that. know what we have to say about that, click this next video. Yes. But it's Mary. And Anna. We recognize the like. Subscribe. Share. And down below. Mm.